Okay, Ronnie from Chapmanville, West Virginia has a Jeremiah Owusu Koromo question. Uh, given what you've seen, will JOK be unleashed when the season starts? He has the makings of a difference maker for the defense. Ashley JOK, I I think he might be. I think he might be the most interesting kind of player coming back on this defense. I think we sort of know what everyone else looks like, and we kind of want to see maybe what that next step is. But JOK, it's like. I still think the the possibilities are endless. And I think you asked Joe Woods yesterday about, you know, do you kind of continue to to lengthen that leash a little on him? Yeah, I tried to to get at this with him and it sounded like a yes, like that. <laughs> he he took it a bit more broad, right? Like he brought up some of the other guys they had last year uh, who were also new, like Tack McKinley, like Jadavian Clowney, like Malik McDowell, who obviously isn't here anymore. Um, and, and, you know, last year he talked a lot about simplifying things, which, uh, you hear coaches say a lot, especially earlier this season, uh, early in the seasons or the off seasons. But um, yeah, I mean, JOK is kind of a a person who is endlessly intriguing to me for this reason. I think when we did the the end of the year awards, I said I, I picked him for Newsom over like my rookie of the year, whatever we called it on, on that podcast episode, uh, just because I, I really love Greg Newsom and what he's done so far. But I think JOK's versatility uh, is going to allow them to throw more at him. And I know when we've talked about it recently, like one of the areas I think that's especially true is, is maybe in his blitzing and especially like the way you saw him as a rookie, maybe maybe the sack wasn't always there, but you saw him impact plays when you're watching the game and that there's not a stat attributed to that, but you could see it and you saw glimpses of it, especially earlier in the year. So I definitely think so. I would like to see them quote unquote unleash him the the way the question was worded uh, and allow him to do more of that stuff, because I think it could look really interesting given the way he can also drop back in coverage for them. Yeah. I was trying to figure out like, what would unleash mean? Like what, (laughs) Like, I took it be... as rushing the passer, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And I and probably just basically staying on the field. I think that would mm-hmm. probably be some of it as well. And looking at him as somebody who you could use in just about any situation. Um, but yeah, I'd imagine that, that rushing the passer will be part of it. Uh, maybe he's, I don't know, maybe he's in the slot more uh, covering people. I think it's just being on the field more. It's weird because by the end of last season and even now, it just seems like he's, you know, a, a five-year vet, just the way he kind of carries himself and definitely when he talks. Um, but watching him on the field and the two OTAs we've been able to see, he just seems very comfortable and confident and seems to be somebody who realizes that even if he's not a vocal leader, he is kind of a leader out there because of the position that he plays and, you know, how well things went last season. And, uh, you know, the thing about JOK, too, is, I mean, that that leadership side of it, I don't think he's afraid to be that guy. I think yeah. some some guys some guys come into the league and they want to be that and it takes them a while or they just don't have the personality. I think Miles actually is a guy who kind of needed to find that a little bit. Like, what does that look and sound like? Um, I don't I don't think JOK is going to have that problem. I, th- I think he's a guy that this year could establish himself as like a voice like an actual voice in that locker room. He's certainly loud enough. He's certainly dynamic enough and, and he's a good player. I think that's, a, that's a big piece of it too, that, that you've got to be a, a good player. Um, if, if you want to take that step into leadership, linebacker is interesting. Um, I'm, I'm curious, you know, this whole Jacob Phillips thing, I think is really interesting. I, you know, Anthony Walker will be on this team, but I wonder what his role is going to end up being. Could, could there be a situation where it's Jacob Phillips and JOK playing significantly more snaps than Anthony Walker. You do wonder. And I mean, it's kind of like what we talked about yesterday, like Jacob Phillips is their draft pick. And like, yes, they brought Anthony Walker back on this one-year deal, but at some point you want to see ideally that, that starter type of production from those guys. And again, like we saw certain packages where all three of them were on the field at the same time. So that was interesting, and it's obviously still so early to to glean how much any of this will will actually come into reality on the field once the season actually starts. But uh, it's definitely something to watch for, I think, especially as we get in a training camp and are out there every day. 